As it approaches its centennial anniversary, the Daniels College of Business, through pursuit of its mission to foster enlightened practice, professional achievement, and commitment to the community, continues to transform the world of business. In this, its 96th year, the college celebrates its students, alumni, faculty, staff, and friends, and says farewell to its dean, Dr. James Grismer, who ushered in the college's era of distinction and charted the college's direction since 1994. In the last 10 years, I think we've really found our bearings. We've confirmed and really solidified what we care about, what we believe in as a faculty and as a business school. I would say the most important accomplishments have to do with the absolute quality of the enterprise. Uh, the kind of faculty uh, that we have in the Daniels College, the students that we've been attracting for the last several years, the graduates that we're putting out there. Those are the real measures of success. What ingredients do I need to create a great business school environment? A great chancellor, a great dean, a great philanthropist behind it and the support of the community in which you live. Bill Daniels had a saying, which was, the best is good enough for me. <laughs> and that's what he expected from the Daniels College, to do it better than anybody anywhere had ever done it. Bill talked on a, uh, on a regular basis about uh, some of the frustrations that, uh, that he had, especially with business school graduates. Not so much with the academic or intellectual part. I think he viewed them all to be tremendously bright, savvy men and women. Um, but he pointed often to his disappointment in how they dressed, how they acted, uh, the informality and, and uh, irresponsibility and things of that kind. He just felt there was something substantial that was missing from their educational environment and, uh, and, and it, it bugged him. We were embarking on a journey really that no one had ever done before uh, in a business school to my knowledge. It's very hard to bring about change uh, at a university, especially in uh, curricular matters. And they were willing to do it and they did it. And I think they all got behind the vision of making uh, the Daniels College of Business the very best. And I think that shows in the, in the rankings and uh, uh, it shows in the uh, numbers of applications and the numbers of new students. The revisions to that curriculum, I think, show not only the students, but it, it shows the faculty as well that uh, education is not stagnant, that we continue to evolve, and I think the curriculum reflects that. I think our students become responsible members of the community and, and add to the community, um, both in the projects they do while they're students as well as the work they do following their graduation. I think this is a, a wonderful environment for students to learn how business is really going to be when they get out there. Working on teams, for example, uh, PCE type projects, I think it's very important to their development. The communication skills that they develop here is kind of unique. I've never been to another school that requires MBA students to write papers every single week. The ethics part of it, uh, certainly uh, Daniels was an innovator on that whole side of things and, uh, and still is. Now we understand much better than we did uh, then the importance of ethics, not only to shareholders but to society. One of the results of the Grismer years at Daniels is that the college is very, very well positioned for a major step up. He was precisely the right choice for, for the business school at a time really of tremendous transition. He had been in a very important role as our CFO during a time of immense change. Uh, the time that we really uh, uh, climbed out of uh, a difficult fiscal situation. Uh, using a lot of the methods and ideas uh, that are attributable to him. He could boil an issue down. Could be a problem, could have been an opportunity. 
and take it down to the essence, being respectful, if you will, of the trustee's limited amount of time, get to the issue, and then offer the solution. How does he intend to approach the problem? He did that masterfully. He knew very well how the university worked, had a distinct idea of how Daniels uh, could fit into that, into that uh, perspective about the university as a whole. The biggest thing that happened was we changed our basic model of scholarship from the traditional uh, academic model that rewards teaching, research, and service, uh, faculty activities in those three categories. We changed to a model that looks at faculty productivity in four areas, discovery, application, integration, and teaching. And by looking at our scholarship from those four areas, I think it really inspired faculty to broaden the kinds of work they were doing. Watching Dean Grismer go through that reaccreditation process, as a former auditor, I was a little curious as to how we'd go about doing something so massive as that. But based on his strategic background, uh, he put the resources in place, guided us through it, and we were successful. Like every building on that campus, it's a, uh, it's a monument. I mean, it, it is just marvelous. The philosophy at the University of Denver is we're going to build the best building that money can buy, and whatever it costs, we're going to, we're going to spend it. We certainly looked at uh, all the ones that have been built recently, uh, some abroad as well, and we did some very innovative things in, in this case. Uh, I think, at least from my personal point of view, the idea of the commons uh, where both students and faculty would hang out and work and snack and have meetings and so on was really perhaps the greatest thing we've done. Then you walk through the hallways and you see all the team meeting rooms. Uh, I have yet to see an empty one and all the times I walk down the hallways they're very popular places for our students to work and study together. And then, of course, the classrooms are, are just wonderful. They're state-of-the-art, really amenable to our use of technology in the classroom, and uh, just a pleasure to be in. So it's a wonderful opportunity for our students to, to be able to use such a great facility. Well, the most influential business paper in the country gives the University of Denver Ivy League status. The Daniels College of Business is listed by the Wall Street Journal as one of the world's top business schools. It's the only school in the state ranked in the top 50 in the country. It comes in at number 44. I think we've concentrated our efforts at building the best curriculum we could build and being the best school of business we could be and we felt that if we did those things, the rankings would come. Well, if somebody would have told the business school people 10 or 12 years ago that in 10 years they were going to be in the top 50, probably would have been a lot of chuckles and saying, you know, what are those people smoking? I mean, how are we ever going to do that? But uh, I think with the, uh, the impact that Bill's gift made, with the impetus that uh, Dan Ritchie and his leadership uh, gave to the school and the leadership of Jim Grismer, um, and they've done it. We have financial stability, we have wonderful new ideas, we have terrific faculty. Uh, all of those things are in place. I think the Dean has positioned us such that with the right leadership following in his footsteps, so that the sky's the limit. I would expect Daniels to grow and prosper. It has a wonderful name within Denver and I would say within the region. And I'm sure Bill would be uh, as pleased as I am about the progress and the spirit and the, the ethos uh, of the Daniels College of Business. And I think the future has got to be, um, oh my word, would be brilliant.